Hello and welcome to another YouTube video here on this channel. I am still trying to figure out that intro, but that isn't why you're here. My intros isn't why you tuned into this uh, video. Today we are talking about Squintle because for the last couple of weeks, I think it's been four weeks or so, probably a little bit more than that, I have been um, playing around with Scrintle as my daily driver. So I wasn't able to use this a lot during the Christmas break, but I've played around with it, and especially now the last couple of weeks, I've gotten to see where this application excels, the issues it has, my problems, personal problems with it, and just in general how I am setting things up. So we are first going to do a tour of my Scrintle, then I will be back here, you will see my face, and I will try to explain to you what what I like, what I dislike, and how just in general I feel about this application. So let's actually just jump right into Scrintle. So if you're new to this, Scrintle is sort of a whiteboarding application uh, with note-taking, uh, and there are a lot of great things about it, but the way I've set this up uh, is that I have my goals for 2025 right here. Uh, these are just here for quick access because I tend to look at them in my weekly reviews. They are uh, kind of important to uh, my weekly reviews, which I also do inside of Scrintle, but more about that later. I have my resources right here. Here you can see all of the different notes I've taken, and if this seems a little like all over the place. That is actually um, the point of this. Um, I like my resources to be a little bit all over the place so I can actually link different things together so it feels more like my brain because my brain is uh, all over the place at times. But here you have different notes. I write them both in uh, Norwegian and I also write a lot in English, especially for tweets I capture. I think I have a couple right here. Uh, I'm also currently participating in the 100 days of note taking uh, challenge, which I recommend. That is really, really fun. I have my personal thoughts. I have my book notes and reading list. So I removed this from everything else because I wanted to have sort of a Kanban uh, board view. I'm currently uh, uh, reading the history of notebooks and here you have the books I've already read. I have a couple more uh, which I haven't added right here. So I have this as sort of a place to uh, keep track of what I am currently reading. I don't use this for things like articles, bookmarking. That is something I'm working on figuring out a better system for. Uh, right now I'm using twos for uh, that, uh, but I use this for my books. I have some uh, design inspo right here. I have um, outfit inspos. I have some notes about marketing. I think it's only one. Uh, so how I decide what is a board and what just stays here is actually based on how I feel. There isn't a specific rule, but like some things I like to have for itself, like uh, design inspo is for itself basically because it is mainly used uh, for uh, my day job and not necessarily for things I do after I'm done with my day job. So uh, no like specific rules, it is just about how uh, things feel to me. So sometimes I will like to have a board like with my quotes, I would like to have a board uh, right here. I have a couple of quotes, uh, so here I like to have a board for them because that is things I want to quickly find uh, a quote for an article I'm writing or for uh, a YouTube video I'm working on and uh, just in general um, finding like uh, a quote for things I'm outputting. That's why I like to have it like uh, this. Uh, and here I have a bunch of notes. It isn't enough yet for me to be able to link different things together in a good way, but that is the point of having it like this. I also have my areas where I have like personal stuff. I have um, 
my day job stuff i have my company stuff right here so that is basically everything to it so here i have yearly stats goals for 2025 that is the same one i have right here uh, i have my social media ideas my weekly reviews for last year and my weekly reviews for this year i will just go ahead and show you this because these are my stats every single weekend and the point of this is just to remember that even though it might not feel like it i am actually growing uh, so just a way for me to stay motivated so i'm doing the same this year uh, we've only had one uh, as of right now uh, but um, i will keep adding these uh, i also have my projects here so whenever a project comes up this was a little slow here it is up here so i have a couple of things here i'm currently working on one that is finished uh, and I will show you how I create finished stuff and how I archive things because we can jump into my um, social media ideas. So these are finished right here. I've actually published both of these, I think. So if I just take this one, I think this is supposed to be a YouTube video as well. So that is a terrible example. But if I just take this one, this has the tag blog post. I will just add the tag archive as well uh, like this. And I will go ahead and I will just remove it from here. So it is still a part of my documents, but it isn't on the board anymore. That is basically how I archive things. I have one called uh, one board called archived right here. This is mainly for social media ideas. And the point here is uh, that I may want to turn these into something else. So a YouTube video might be turned into a blog post or a tweet or a there are many things I would like to create, so that is the point of something like this. And that is basically how I use it. It is that simple, uh, and I've been really enjoying the experience. There are a couple of things I um, have issues with, but let's start off with the things I really like. So I like the documents, and I also like the fact that I can have uh, text just live on the board like this. And I love how easy it is to turn these into documents. Uh, I have been enjoying the AI assistant as well. So uh, basically the way this AI assistant works is that I can... Uh, I can uh, use uh, these notes to drop them in here, so drop blocks or notes in here to actually uh, use them uh, for my um, for the AI to answer based on my notes. That was what I was trying to say. Uh, so that is basically how uh, this one works. It isn't perfect, but it is actually quite good. I've been really enjoying uh, that. Um, but uh, the main things is that I like these right here, the way uh, text works. And I also like the fact that I can actually add uh, images here and have image blocks live within here. And uh, just in general, I think it has a lot of cool things going for it. However, just like every other application, there are things you will have to sacrifice. And one major thing I have chosen to sacrifice, which works out because I'm using uh, an application called uh, Twos instead uh, to uh, fix that issue, is that quick capturing, especially on the go, is uh, close to impossible because there is no mobile application. You can use the web version, but it is a um, terrible uh, experience, at least on uh, the iPhone. They are working on improving that, uh, the web version for uh, mobile, uh, but there is no mobile application coming anytime soon, which uh, for a lot of people, me included, might make this really hard to use. Um, but I have still chosen to use it because it works great with images and it works great with text because I'm really into PKM and personal knowledge management. But I'm also really into like, um, I'm also really into images and design or not necessarily into, but that is my day job. So I have to be into it. Uh, so I like to have the blend between two. Think of this as like Heptabase and Milnote combined. It isn't as good as Heptabase when it comes to text. It isn't as good as Milnote when it comes to uh, 
when it comes to images and design, but it does both of those things, and I haven't found an application that does that. So in my eyes, it is still worth it, but lack of mobile application, lack of good task management um, is an issue. They are working on task management that is in uh, beta right now inside of the application, and they will try to improve the uh, mobile experience on uh, web. Uh, but that covers it for uh, today's video. There is one more thing, uh, one important thing. I have a Squintle invite. It isn't a affiliate link. It is just a an invite people that use Squintle get to share with their friends. I don't have any friends that wants an invite to Squintle, so I am sharing it with you guys. So you can go ahead and check that out. I will just uh, link it down below in um, under this uh, video. And the way this works is that I have uh, one invite which gives you a free trial and 10% discount if you choose to use the application. So I will leave that down below if you want to try it out. If you uh, want the application, you will get a discount account. I'm not getting anything uh, from it except for uh, an invite to an exclusive Slack channel, which I'm already a member of uh, because I've handed out a few invites before. So I'm not getting anything for it. But I thought that when I have it, I will share it with you so that will be linked down below as usual thank you so so much for watching today's video